Hey everyone, my name is Justin from JustisGood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you two methods to create an interesting looking symmetrical photo effect. So the first method is just going to use layer orientations and blending modes. So right click and duplicate your original layer and then go to edit, transform, and you want to choose between flip horizontal or flip vertical depending on where you want your line of symmetry to be. I'm going to choose flip horizontal and then I'd recommend using either the blending mode darken or lighten. So darken is just going to tell Photoshop to compare the pixels and whatever is darker on this side, you're going to make that show through. Whereas lighten is pretty much the same thing but the opposite. If it's lighter than what's underneath, then have that show through. So in my case, I think darken looks better because you can still see the woman and it gives it a nice blend, but get creative and experiment with your own photo. Now if you wanted to take it one step further and add another line of symmetry, you could go to layer, new layer, and on this layer go to image, apply image. This will just stamp everything that's on your photo so you have the entire thing in one layer. And now you can go to edit, transform, and then flip it the other direction that you hadn't before, so in my case vertically, and then you could use maybe the other blending mode that you didn't use before, so in my case, lighten. And that might give you another interesting effect to play around with. So this is a pretty cool abstract image of some waves. But in the case of the original photo here, I like it just with the one line. It gives it kind of that cool ink blot vibe. Now the second method is a little bit different. So here's a photo with a lot of lights in it, and if we use the original method, this is what it would come out with, and you kind of lose some of the interesting portions of the photo, like the car. So the other way that you can achieve symmetry is just by playing around with the layer placement. So for example, I'm going to just duplicate my original layer by using the shortcut Command J, and I'll use my Move tool to move the bottom half to the top. So now I have one half of my photo. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer again, so Command J, and then I'll edit, transform, and flip it vertically. And then I'm just going to drag the half down and make the two halves meet. So now you can see I have a different line of symmetry, and I'm going to go ahead and do it again. So I'm going to hold shift, grab both of these layers, and move them to the other half of the photo, because I like that car there and I want to keep it. And then I'm going to right click, duplicate these layers, and then edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then make those two ends meet. So in this case you get a little bit more of a kaleidoscope type of effect. Rather than everything blending on top of each other, you kind of create a tile. And actually this image that we've just created is a perfect tile. So you could even go to edit, define pattern, and if you go to layer, new fill layer, pattern, you can see that I could scale it down 50% and there's still no edges because we made a perfectly seamless tile. So that's another way you could get creative with this, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Definitely get creative and experiment with the different blending modes and lines of symmetry in your own photos and see if you can come up with something interesting that looks cool. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. And if you came up with something cool on your own, feel free to tag me in it or share it with me on any social media. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.